Luna 1, also known as Mekta Russian, Mekta M. Ta, lit. Dream, E-1 No. 4 and first lunar rover, was the first spacecraft to reach the vicinity of the Earth's moon, and the first spacecraft to be placed in heliocentric orbit. Intended as an impactor, Luna 1 was launched as part of the Soviet Luna program in 1959, however due to an incorrectly timed upper stage burn during its launch, it missed the moon, in the process becoming the first spacecraft to leave geocentric orbit. While traveling through the outer Van Allen radiation belt, the spacecraft's scintillator made observations indicating that a small number of high-energy particles exist in the outer belt. The measurements obtained during this mission provided new data on the Earth's radiation belt and outer space. The Moon was found to have no detectable magnetic field. The first ever direct observations and measurements of the solar wind, a strong flow of ionized plasma emanating from the Sun and streaming through interplanetary space, were performed. That ionized plasma concentration was measured to be some 700 particles per cc at altitudes 20 to 25,000 kilometers and 300 to 400 particles per cc at altitudes 100 to 150,000 kilometers. The spacecraft also marked the first instance of radio communication at the half million kilometer distance. A malfunction in the ground-based control system caused an error in the rocket's burn time, and the spacecraft missed the target and flew by the Moon at a distance of 5,900 km at the closest point. Luna 1 then became the first man-made object to reach heliocentric orbit and was then dubbed a new planet and renamed Mekta Dream. Luna 1 was also referred to as the first cosmic rocket in reference to its achievement of escape velocity. Topic. Spacecraft Luna 1 contained radio equipment including a tracking transmitter and telemetry system, and five instruments to study the Moon and interplanetary space, including a magnetometer, Geiger counter, scintillation counter, and micrometeorite detector. Luna 1 was designed to impact the Moon, delivering two metallic pennants with the Soviet coat of arms that were included into its package. This mission was eventually accomplished by Luna 2. Topic. Launch Luna 1 was launched at 1641 Greenwich Mean Time, 2241 local time on 2 January 1959 from Site 1 5 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome by a Luna 8K-72 rocket. Luna 1 became the first man-made object to reach the escape velocity of the Earth, along with its carrier rockets 1,472 kg 3 upper stage, which it separated from after achieving heliocentric orbit. Due to a programming error, the duration of the upper stage's burn was incorrect, and consequently Luna 1 failed to impact the Moon. The spacecraft passed within 5,995 kilometers (3,725 miles) of the Moon's surface on the 4th of January after 34 hours of flight. It remains in orbit around the Sun, between the orbits of Earth and Mars. Topic: <laughs> Sodium release experiment. At 0 hours 56 minutes and 20 seconds coordinated universal time on the 3rd of January at a distance of 119,500 kilometers 74,300 miles from Earth 1 kilogram 2.2 pounds of sodium gas was released by the spacecraft forming a cloud behind it to serve as an artificial comet this glowing orange trail of gas, visible over the Indian Ocean with the brightness of a sixth-magnitude star for a few minutes, was photographed by M. Estislav Nevyshev at the mountain station of the main astronomical observatory of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR near Kislovodsk. It served as an experiment on the behavior of gas in outer space. A wired press photograph entitled Rockets, Russian rocket sent into outer space January 1959 first rocket fired at moon, describes how the sodium gas cloud was photographed by Morris Allen. The following text is taken verbatim from the reverse of a press photograph stamped Kemsley Newspapers 6 January 1959. The Russian rocket on its way to the moon. Mr. Morris Allen, 34-year-old freelance photographer, who was the first man to photograph the original Russian Sputnik, early this morning took this photograph of the moon rocket. He and his three assistants saw the rocket from Kingscat Hill, near Dunfermline, Firthshire, just after 1 a.m. and held it in view for almost eight minutes. 
It appeared like a cloud on the horizon near the constellation Virgo. He said, We photographed it with three cameras and with a movie camera. It's emerged in the sky just over the horizon near Edinburgh, but it was a second or two before we realized what we had. The picture shows the lights of Edinburgh in the foreground. The rocket is seen as an illuminated cloud top center. Topic. Malfunction Luna 1 was meant to crash on the Moon, however, due to a malfunction of the ground control system, the probe missed its target by 5,995 km. Despite this, Luna 1 still managed to collect vital information to assist in the understanding of the universe. Its goal to crash on the Moon was subsequently achieved by Luna 2 on September 13, 1959. Topic. See also Pioneer 4 A similar NASA mission launched 3 March 1959, two months after Luna 1. Topic. References Topic. External links Boris Chertok Rakiti i Ludi, Goryachi Dni, Kolodnoi Voini. Moscow. Mashinostroni. 2nd ed. 1999. Sect. 2 7. Luna program in Great Soviet Encyclopedia in Russian. Zarya Luna 1 chronology. NASA NSSDC Luna 1 webpage. MS Tislav Nevyshev's photograph of Luna 1 in flight. FACTBOX, Reuters, Planned Lunar Missions Reuters, Chronology, 5 Key Dates in the Race to the Moon <laughs>